Okay, once you're in the room, likely the most important part to start with is making sure my audio and video is going to work. And of course, right now it's telling me I'm muted and I can actually see there's a line through my mic. If I want to turn on my mic and camera, I'd have to actually click them on. I'm going to instead, though, start with the more button, settings, device settings. This is where I control my audio and video and can really kind of make sure it's working properly. I can pick my overall audio device or specifically pick the speaker and microphone. They don't have to be the same. I could make them different devices. In case I'm using something like a headset, instead I could use the internal mic and the internal speakers or some weird mix. And the nice thing is if I actually turn on the mic, one of the most common things in Teams is wondering, okay, can everyone hear me? And if they say they can't, is it me or them? Well, if my mic is working, I should see this purple bars rising and falling. Someone says they can't hear me. I know it's something on their end because I'm transmitting. So in their case, they should go to the device settings, make sure they have the right speaker picked. Maybe go to something like YouTube to make sure they can hear any sound at all and figure it out. I will note sometimes if you ever are having mic problems, it might not hurt to exit a meeting and join back in. The good old cliche of turn it off and on again can actually help. There is other options like noise suppression, uh, the video settings, I do get to pick the mic if I, or sorry, the camera. If I have more than one, I can pick which one I wanna use. I can choose if I'm mirroring my video or not. And I can do things like adjust the brightness. Sometimes I do find adjusting the brightness will wash out my video quality a bit, but this should hopefully get us started.